Well guys, welcome to 3D printing. You come home from work and you find out that your model that was supposed to be this tall <laughs> only printed this much. <laughs> I've got a pretty hard uh, jam up here inside the hot end. So I'm going to attempt to take it apart, find out what's going on with it. The first thing I want to do is I want to take the nozzle loose and then go from there and see if it's something I can remove from the nozzle throat without having to take it completely apart. Because if I have to take it completely apart, I will replace the nozzle throat with the titanium hot, all metal hot end or throat or whatever they call that thing. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we can, what, what kind of damage we can do to this thing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the, the nozzle from it. I'm going to use a pair of adjustable, like an adjustable end wrench. Make sure I'm nowhere near the wires. And I'm going to take a little socket and hopefully, there we go, get that to come loose. And as you can see, the hot end loosens up automatically. That's no big deal. Now, I do have it up to temperature, so I want to make sure that I do not touch that nozzle. If it drops right now, it can just drop. I'm not going to take and try picking it up because that thing is set right now at 240 degrees Celsius. As you can see, it's a very long nozzle. Okay. And as you might also notice, there is no filament sticking out of that. Which means my filament should be stuck up in the top part, which would be the throat. So now... Back that out a little bit. I'm going to take this rod right here and try to poke out the filament. And I'm feeling something very hard there. It's whatever that is not budging. So what I will try doing is try pushing this up from underneath. See if that will allow me to remove whatever the obstruction is. Keep in mind that everything is still very hot. So I definitely do not want to touch anything there. Okay, we're getting some movement at the top there. I'm going to see what I can pull out from up here. I should... I usually have some needle nose pliers around here, but I don't see any at the moment. So I'm just going to use these little nippers. Nip off a little piece, grab hold of the top there, and give it a little pull up. There we go. Okay, so we got the obstruction out of it. Now the question is, is the, the Teflon tube that's running down that heat block or that nozzle throat, is it jammed up? And the answer is kinda. I feel a ridge. And of course, just passing that through there, it's, it already starts to kind of melt that a little bit. But I could feel a little bit of a ridge in there, so I want to take a quick look if I can to see if I see if it's been leaking. It doesn't look like it's been oozing anything out. No. I think it's going to be just fine. I need to double check with Calvin. He's the one that sliced this model. I need to make sure that he didn't have the retraction settings set too far. But I got a feeling it was just a little bit of a that's possibly that was a little bit of a brittle piece of filament too no it doesn't feel brittle i honestly don't know what caused the gem i kind of got a gut feeling though it's it's probably going to be that stupid uh that tube let me run this down through there let's see if i feel a ridge with it this is just a little rod 
and let's run the filament back through it. It actually feels pretty smooth. I will go ahead and just put it back together and try it one more time to see what happens. Um, I could change over the, let's see if that's getting cool enough. Yeah, it's getting cool enough for me to touch now. I'm going to pull it out of the socket. Let's get it started. Now the reason why you always want to keep heat up this hot end whenever you do this is because if you don't, it it'll just if there's any molten PLA or anything on those threads, you will not get that thing to remove. And also, when you go to put it back in, you want it hot as well. Nope, almost dropped that. Don't want to drop it on the glass bed. And this is just a little finger ratchet. It's not a kind of make sure that I don't over tighten anything too. It's not something that you need to to really crank down on. Okay, now let's see if this will go through. Hey, that feels pretty good to me. Nice fat nozzle right there. <laughs> Well, guys, you just saw how to change out or <laughs> clear a clog, a pretty hard clog, by the way. But uh, it's fairly easy to get taken out of there. But i got to figure out why I'm having that issue. It, like Once again, this is some really old PLA, too. This is like two or three years old. This has been sitting out, um, not inside any wrapper or anything, so... Anyway, guys, that's a quick down and dirty way of uh, getting your clog taken out and hopefully get back to printing again. It was, it was a sad thing it's going to take another 13 hours to get to this point, but oh well. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.